Greetings students, Mr. O'Neill here. I want to talk to you today about graphing motion. So these will support your knowledge about motion graphs and how scientifically we describe motion. To do that, I'm going to work on the board here where hopefully you'll be able to see that you need this as graph paper, so I'm just using the whiteboard with a, with a grid on it. And the hardest thing about doing actual graphs is picking your axes. So there are two kinds of graphs that we're going to learn about. The first is going to be a distance time graph. And the second kind of graph is going to be a velocity time graph. So let's get started. For a distance time graph, or for a velocity time graph, your x-axis, this horizontal x-axis, is always going to be time. So you're going to want to label your axis. For anything in science, we're going to be using zero is our origin, so that's where x equals zero and y equals zero. And then up here for a distance we're going to put uh, x or we could put d, same thing. So this is going to be a distance time graph. Distance versus time, something like that. So I want to, we're going to be going over several different cases. So let's talk, talk first about just the case where you're sitting still at your starting point. Now I'm going to change colors here so you'll be able to see here. So if we are sitting still, our distance is zero, and as time goes on, the distance remains at zero. So that is the distance time graph for the case where you're just sitting still. Now let's talk about what happens when you're moving. So again, I have time on the x-axis, zero at my origin, and distance up here. So now I start out at some point, and I'll use red, I don't think the other color is showing up too good. I start out here at zero, and as I walk, my distance goes up. Say to time 10 seconds or something. So this would be five seconds. So I walk at a steady pace. Now notice a couple things. One, the line is flat. So it's like a, a constant slope line. So a straight line just means I'm walking at a constant speed. Right? Same amount every second. Now say imagine in 10 seconds that I stop. So I get to where I'm going and I just stop. At that point, my, like the other line, it's going to be constant. So what happened here, you can tell, is I stopped. And I stopped at one, two, three, four, five, six meters from where I started, whatever. So this is a case where I have constant speed and then I stop. Now I don't have to walk away. I could also walk towards something. So here's my distance, there's my time, but say I started this far away from where I want to be, and then I start walking at a constant speed towards where I want to go, then that's going to be a straight line down. But then let's say I'm almost there, but then I stop. I'll stop, say hello to somebody, whatever. And then I start walking again until I get back to where I'm going, get to where x equals zero. Well, that's a case where we're walking towards and the distance is going down. I stopped and then I will continue walking at a constant speed. That's pretty much it for uh, distances. Now, um, it gets more complicated. Give me a second here. So let's do a new one. I want to start talking about the speed versus time graph or velocity versus time graphs. So I'll say for the purposes of this, we'll just talk about the velocity. So here I am at zero. Now imagine yourself sitting in the car at rest with zero speed or it doesn't even matter. But you step on the gas pedal. When you step on the gas pedal, your car is going to take off. If you accelerated a constant acceleration, then the speed is going to go up. So you hear your speed's going up over time. And then you reach your speed and you 
just hold your foot on the gas where it's at at a constant speed. So this would be positive acceleration. At a constant rate, speed goes up. Now a couple things about this, you'll notice as each second goes by, you're going faster. So you're going uh, first one meter per second and two meters per second. The third second you would do three meters per second, etc. So this would result in a distance time graph. If you were to go back and plot the distance versus the time for the case where you're accelerating. Again, you start out at zero, but in that first second you would go one meter per second, one meter. In the second second you would go two meters. In the third second you would go three meters and you see the shape of the the uh, distance time is a it's called exponential increase so it goes up with a curve each second that goes by you go further and further as you get faster and faster so this is the distance time for a constant positive acceleration. And that's about as complicated as it gets where you get these exponents on the, on those and then there's every variety of this so the trick to solving these problems is to carefully examine uh, the plot, determine whether you're talking about distance or speed on your y-axis, make sure that there's time on the x-axis, then watch and think about what's happening. Are you moving? Is the distance going up? Are you going towards or away from? So you have to be able to tell the story looking at the picture. So that's what the motion time graphs are about. Hopefully that helps you and I'll have an assignment for you.